Picture this, a simpler time when black and white screens filled living rooms with an air of wonder and television was a realm of magic waiting to unfold. It was in this enchanting era that the 1959 TV series, Dennis the Menace, made its indelible mark. Can you recall that first encounter? The thrill of tuning in, the anticipation as the show began, and the way the misadventures of young Dennis Mitchell took you on a roller coaster of laughter and nostalgia. Perhaps you chuckled at Dennis' boundless energy and penchant for finding trouble in the most unexpected places. Maybe Mr. Wilson's exasperated expressions became etched in your memory, a testament to the timeless struggle between mischief and maturity. Or was it the warmth of the suburban neighborhood setting that made you feel like you were right there, a part of the hilarious escapades? As you journey back to those days, conjuring memories of Dennis' antics, and the characters who became like old friends, let's delve into some captivating facts about the show. It's fascinating to think that a show born over six decades ago still has the power to spark smiles and evoke sentiment in today's fast-paced world. Did you know that Dennis the Menace was adapted from Hank Ketchum's popular comic strip of the same name? The charm of the comic found new life on the small screen, giving audiences a chance to truly immerse themselves in Dennis' world. And speaking of worlds, the show's timeless appeal is evident in its ability to transcend generations, captivating both the young and the young at heart. So, as we embark on this journey through the delightful intricacies of the show, remember your own cherished moments with Dennis and his unforgettable crew. A mischievous grin, the neighborhood adventures, and the laughter that echoed through those early television days. Dennis the Menace, a beloved 1959 TV series, originated from Hank Ketchum's comic strip of the same name. The show introduced audiences to the misadventures of Dennis Mitchell, an energetic and curious young boy, often leading to comedic chaos in his suburban neighborhood. The series embraced a timeless charm by adapting Ketchum's iconic characters, including Dennis, his exasperated parents Henry and Alice, his best friend Joey, and Mr. Wilson, the cantankerous neighbor. Notably, the show's unique style blended heartwarming family moments with Dennis' well-intentioned yet troublesome escapades. The dynamic between Dennis' innocent intentions and the resulting chaos struck a relatable chord, drawing in viewers of all ages. This balance of humor and relatability contributed to the show's enduring popularity. Dennis the Menace had a significant impact on popular culture. The character of Dennis became an enduring symbol of childhood curiosity and mischief, resonating with audiences for generations. The series also highlighted the challenges and joys of parenting, fostering relatable connections among families. Through its memorable characters and comedic narrative, the show solidified its place in the cultural landscape. Delving into intriguing tidbits, the show's young star, Jay North, captured hearts with his charismatic portrayal of Dennis, becoming an instant sensation. Moreover, Joseph Kearns' portrayal of Mr. Wilson left an indelible mark, establishing him as a quintessential grumpy neighbor figure. Interestingly, the series adapted to changing times, addressing social and cultural shifts as it progressed. From its comic strip origins to its iconic characters and enduring impact, Dennis the Menace remains a treasured part of television history. Its ability to find humor in the everyday antics of a mischievous boy has left a lasting legacy, continuing to entertain and resonate with audiences across generations. Unveiling the enigmatic connection between Dennis the Menace stars in the quaint world of 1,959 seconds Dennis the Menace, where youthful antics and neighborly camaraderie took center stage, a perplexing age dynamic lay beneath the surface. Joseph Kearns, who portrayed the amiable neighbor Mr. George Wilson, bore a fact that leaves many astounded. He stood a mere decade senior to Jay North's real-life father. A masterstroke of casting irony, as Kearns grumbled about the exuberant shenanigans of the mischievous Dennis Mitchell, he was, in essence, barely a generation apart from the boy's biological progenitor. A seemingly mundane aspect of the series gains new significance upon closer inspection. The grandiose Mr. Wilson, known for his curmudgeonly demeanor, unceremoniously labeled the boy's father as Mitchell and addressed his wife, Alice, by her given name. The perplexing nomenclature lent a touch of whimsy to the show, an intricacy that delighted fans as the amusingly befuddled neighbor juggled monikers while navigating the youthful exploits next door. 
Venturing beyond the confines of the fictional world, the paths of the show's cast diverged in unforeseen ways. Jay North, the impish force behind Dennis Antics, transitioned from his rascally on-screen character to a profession both unexpected and laudable. The former child star, now an adult, took on a role not unlike those he once portrayed, working within Florida's juvenile justice system. Here, North took on the mantle of the correctional officer, an administrator channeling his experiences with the spirited Dennis into guiding troubled youths onto a better path. Intriguingly, as we traverse the layers of Dennis the Menace, we encounter tales more enigmatic than the show's surface humor suggests. A blend of age dynamics, playful nomenclature, and the cast's post-series trajectories creates a narrative tapestry that continues to captivate audiences, even decades later. Dennis the Menace TV series of 1959 spotlights tragic reality behind its lively characters. The beloved 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace charmed audiences with its playful portrayal of young Dennis Mitchell and his adventures. But a lesser known, poignant backstory reveals the series' real life inspiration and the shadows that lurk behind the scenes. The titular character, Dennis Mitchell, was based on Dennis Ketchum, the son of Hank Ketchum, the renowned animator and creator of the comic strip bearing the same name. Despite Dennis Mitchell's affable nature, the real Dennis Ketchum's life was tinged with tragedy. A deeply troubled upbringing saw him grappling with his mother's tragic death due to a drug overdose during a tumultuous divorce. Following this, Hank Ketchum moved his son to Switzerland, attempting to escape the distress. Yet, young Dennis struggled to adapt, spiraling into school troubles. A drastic decision saw Dennis sent to a boarding school in the United States, while his father remained in Switzerland with his new family. As years went by, Dennis managed to turn his life around, even serving in the military during the Vietnam War. However, his return home brought another battle, one against PTSD. Estranged from his father, who had turned his son's life into a lucrative newspaper comic strip, Dennis carried the weight of his experiences. The TV series, though lighthearted on the surface, carried a more profound layer. It addressed the disconnect between creator Hank Ketchum's artistic portrayal of his son and the young man's actual struggle with his inner demons and relationships. One particularly intriguing aspect of the show's history was the sudden death of Joseph Kearns, the actor portraying George Wilson, during its third season. To address this unfortunate event, the storyline ingeniously accounted for Kearns' absence by having George Wilson go on a trip to Ohio, with his brother John stepping in to tend to the house and visit Martha Wilson, his sister-in-law. This narrative twist deftly handled a challenging situation without disrupting the show's established dynamics. In a curious twist of fate, over four decades after the show's inception, TV Guide ranked the character of Dennis Mitchell at number eight on its list of TV's 10 biggest brats. This honor, tinged with humor, attested to the lasting impact of the show and its lovable yet mischievous protagonist. Dennis the Menace of 1959 remains a cherished piece of television history. Beyond the laughter it brought to households, it stands as a testament to the complexities of real-life stories that often shape the entertainment we hold dear. In the annals of classic television, the 1959 series Dennis the Menace holds a special place as a beloved family sitcom. Yet, behind the scenes, a curious tale of hair color transformation unfolds. Jay North, who portrayed the mischievous main character, was a natural brunette. However, Dennis Mitchell, as illustrated in the comics, was unmistakably blonde. This discrepancy led to an intriguing ritual. Periodically, Jay North found himself in the stylist's chair, undergoing hair bleaching sessions to faithfully bring the toe-headed Dennis to life on screen. The commitment to capturing Dennis' essence didn't stop at hair color. Across the Atlantic, in the United Kingdom, the show faced an identity crisis. A British comic strip bore the same moniker, threatening confusion. To avert this clash, the show's title underwent a transformation of its own, becoming simply Dennis in the UK. This strategic move ensured that the American Dennis, with all his endearing antics, would reign unchallenged across the pond. Behind the scenes trivia doesn't stop there. The very stage that hosted the interior sets of Dennis the Menace, Soundstage 7 at Columbia Studios, had a storied history. 
Before housing the Mitchell household, it was the domain of none other than the Three Stooges. The echoes of slapstick comedy surely reverberated through the walls as the stage transitioned from housing the legendary trio's antics to witnessing the youthful escapades of Dennis. In the grand tapestry of television history, Dennis the Menace weaves a tale that goes beyond the surface. From hair transformations to transatlantic nomenclature tweaks and an unexpected connection to slapstick royalty, the show's legacy endures not just for its on-screen humor, but for the myriad stories that unfolded behind the camera. The innocent yet mischievous spirit of Dennis lives on in the hearts of fans, and so does the intriguing lore that surrounded its creation. As we wrap up this nostalgic journey through the time-honored halls of the 1959 TV series, Dennis the Menace, I find myself marveling at the way it has woven itself into the fabric of our memories. Much like a cherished book on a well-worn shelf, this show has carved its own special nook in the realm of classic entertainment. The mischievous grin of Dennis, his infectious curiosity, and the lessons he learned along the way have left an indelible mark on our hearts. Now, as the credits roll and the echoes of laughter fade, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. Think back to those days when you were introduced to the boy with the slingshot and the heart of gold. What adventures did you follow? What lessons did you take away? Maybe you found solace in the gentle humor, or perhaps you connected with the timeless themes that effortlessly transcended generations. It's these personal connections that make Dennis the Menace more than just a show. It's a thread that binds us together across time. So, whether you're sharing your fondest memories with friends, rewatching the classic episodes with your own little menaces, or simply letting a smile grace your lips at the mere mention of the show, remember that you're not alone in cherishing these moments. Our collective fondness for Dennis and his antics is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for taking this delightful stroll down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are truly appreciated, and I can't wait to hear your own unique stories and reflections on Dennis the Menace. Until then, let's keep these memories alive and the laughter echoing. After all, it's these connections that make life all the more wonderful. Warmly, your name.